Everyone loves music. Music has developed from so many different parts of the world. It's amazing how all of these different cultures and styles have come together on this fertile soil. What made you want to tell this particular story of America? Look, I, I grew up as a hip hop artist. In that music that I was making, I was sampling from every different genre, from jazz, blues, soul, rock. And this particular film, America's Musical Journey, was my way of searching and exploring the roots of American music and touching the beginnings and the cities where these genres were born the genres that have helped me develop as an artist. The one thing that stood out to me from the jump, I'm like, doesn't everything just sound so much better when it's narrated by Morgan Freeman? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that was a late uh, addition to the film. We had already got all the pieces recorded. We were in every city and, and then, you know, I think this company that I worked with for the America's Musical Journey had been asking Morgan Freeman to narrate their films for like, I don't know, 20 years or something. Oh and he finally said, yes, I like to think it was because of me. Right. But, you know, I don't know if I can take all the credit. The power of music can change people's hearts. This is a quote from, mm -hmm. from the film. What is it about music that speaks to people so strongly? I think music is a universal language, and I think it's one of the earliest forms of communication. It speaks to our humanity. Mm -hmm. It allows us to emote and feel without words. I travel all over the world and I get a chance to sing to audiences that don't speak English and I see how music is really, literally, the universal language and it brings us together. Well, along the journey in America's musical journey, you go from New York City, Chicago, Memphis, mm -hmm. Miami. Which one of those places did you feel the most at home musically? Okay, well, there's two answers to this. One is New Orleans is where the energy and the vibe is just, it's like electric, you know? Right. After people, watching, I was like, I gotta go to New Orleans, I've never been. I mean, and the people there, everybody who's from there, they feel like a good party. Their energy and their, their personalities and their hospitable um, character is, um, is very welcoming. So you see people playing music on the street, kids with instruments, it's amazing, but I also love writing songs, and some of the best songwriters in the world, I say, are in Nashville. So that's another place where I like to spend time. So there's like two parts of it. One is New Orleans, my body feels like it wants to be in New Orleans for the right. music, the dance, and all of that. But then my brain wants to be in Nashville for the, for the lyric writing. One stop, you made it today, but you didn't make it in a, in a musical journey, is Toronto. What do you think about Toronto music and the sound that's coming out of our city right now, and, and how that's contributing to the entire music game? It's dope. I think that there's great creativity and a spirit of openness that allows people to feel like they could just take risks and do different things. You know, good artistry um, with an open mind and an open heart. And then to not have, you know, the kind of closed minded competitive spirit, but to have like an, an open minded embracing and allowing people to come up. That's really important. I see that's what's happening in the city. Dope. That's from Hello Left. That's dope.